The Game Lore This video will showcase every Game of the Year award from 1983 to present day. The list I will be using will be from the Golden Joystick Awards, as this is one of the oldest gaming award ceremonies and is the longest running. First up, Jetpack. Jetpack was the game to win the 1983 Game of the Year awards and was released by Ultimate. The game world consists of three platforms which Jetman can maneuver onto. Jetman must assemble his rocket, which spawns in pieces scattered around the map, and then fill it with fuel before taking off to the next planet, where the procedure is broadly repeated with alternate procedures. In addition, the player has to defend themselves from the planet's aliens, and for bonus points collect valuable resources which occasionally fall from above. Next up, Night Lore, this game won Best Game Award in 1984 and was released again by Ultimate. The player, as Saberman, has been bitten by the Saber Wolf and now transforms into a werewolf at nightfall. He has 40 days to collect items throughout Melkir the Wizard's Castle and brew a cure for his curse. An on-screen timer shows the progression of day into night, when Saberman metamorphoses into a werewolf, returning to human form at sunrise. Next up in 1985, Way of the Exploding Fist, released by Beam. The player takes part in a series of one-on-one -on -one karate matches, all overseen by a wise old expert who appears in the background. Once the player defeats an opponent, they move up to the next stage and a more difficult adversary. Next up in 1986, Gauntlet, released by Atari. The game is set in mazes where the object is to find and touch the designated exit in every level. An assortment of special items can be located in each level that increase the player's character's health, unlock doors, gain more points, and give magical potions that can destroy all of the enemies on screen. Next up in 1987, Outrun, released by Sega. Outrun is a 3D driving video game in which the player controls a Ferrari Testarossa Spider from a third-person rear perspective. The object of the game is to reach the finish line against a timer. The game world is divided into multiple stages that each end in a checkpoint, and reaching the end of a stage provides more time. Next up in 1988, Thunderblade, released by Sega. The player controls a helicopter gunship using its chain gun and missiles to destroy enemy tanks, helicopters, and other vehicles and structures to save the home country. The plot and setting were inspired by the 1983 film Blue Thunder, from which a digitized frame became the title screen. Next up in 1989, Kick Off, released by Dini Dini. With Kick Off the ball did not stick to the player's feet but instead was realistically kicked ahead from the player's. This added a degree of difficulty and skill requirement at the same time. Other attributes, such as action replays, players with different characteristics, different tactics, fouls, yellow cards, red cards, injuries, injury time and various referees with different moods also featured. Next up in 1990, Mega Man, released by Capcom. In the year 20XX, robots developed to assist mankind are commonplace thanks to the efforts of renowned robot designer Dr. Light. However, one day, these robots go out of control and start attacking humans, then a good robot known as Rock, having a strong sense of justice, offers to be converted into a fighting robot to destroy the killer robots, dubbing himself Mega Man. Next up in 1991, Sonic the Hedgehog, released by Sega. The gameplay centers on Sonic the Hedgehog's ability to run at high speed through levels that include springs, slopes, bottomless pits, and vertical loops. 10. The levels are populated with robot enemies, inside which Dr. Robot Nick has trapped animals. Destroying a robot frees the animal, but is not necessary to complete the game. Next up in 1992, Street Fighter II, released by Capcom. The player engages opponents in one-on-one -on -one close quarter combat in a series of best two out of three matches. The objective of each round is to deplete the opponent's vitality before the timer runs out. Both fighters having equal vitality left yields a double KO or draw game and additional rounds ensue until sudden death. Next up in 1993, Samurai Showdown, released by SNK. The game is set in the late 18th century and all the characters wield weapons. 
During a match, a referee holds flags representing each player, player 1 is white, player 2 is red. When a player lands a successful hit, the referee lifts the corresponding flag, indicating who dealt the blow. Next up in 1994, Donkey Kong Country, released by Rare. The player begins in a world map that tracks their progress and provides access to the 40 levels. 9, 10, the player attempts to complete each level while traversing the environment, jumping between platforms, and avoiding enemy and inanimate obstacles. Next up in 1995, Twisted Metal, released by Single Track. The game's plot is centered on the titular competition in which various drivers in modified vehicles must destroy the other vehicles in an attempt to be the last one alive. The winner meets the organizer of the competition, a mysterious man named Calypso, who will grant the winner a single wish, regardless of price, size, or even reality. Next up in 1996 and 1997, Super Mario 64, released by Nintendo. Bowser, the primary antagonist of the Super Mario franchise, invades Princess Peach's castle and hides the castle's sources of protection, the Power Stars, in many different worlds inside magical paintings. As Mario, the player collects Power Stars to unlock enough of Princess Peach's castle to get to Bowser and rescue Princess Peach. Next up in 1998, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, released by Nintendo. Ocarina of Time is set in the fictional Kingdom of Hyrule, the setting of most Legend of Zelda games. Link our character Traverse outside of this kingdom, taking on anything in his path. Next up in 1999, Sound Calibur, released by Namco. The game centers on the pursuit of the legendary weapon known as Soul Edge, now in the possession of a warrior known as Nightmare, who slaughters countless people to satisfy the blade's bloodlust. Our goal is to pursue him either to claim the weapon for ourselves or to destroy it, end his mass murder, and free him of its curse. Next up in 2000, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, released by Neversoft. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 puts the player in control of a professional or fictional skater and takes place in a third-person view with a fixed camera. The player must perform tricks and complete level objectives in return for cash rewards. Next up in 2001, Halo Combat Evolved, released by Bungie. The game begins as the pillar of Autumn exits Slipspace and its crew discovers a large ringworld structure of unknown origin. The Covenant, the enemy, pursues the Autumn and attacks. With the ship heavily damaged, the Autumn's captain, Jacob Keyes, entrusts the ship's artificial intelligence, AI, known as Cortana to Master Chief in order to prevent the Covenant from discovering the location of Earth. Keyes orders the crew to abandon the Autumn and pilots the ship to a crash landing on the Ringworld. Next up in 2002, Grand Theft Auto 3, released by DMA Design. Players complete missions, linear scenarios with set objectives, to progress through the story. 4. It is possible to have several missions available at a time, as some missions require players to wait for further instructions or events. Next up in 2003, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, released by Rockstar. This game is very similar to the previous, but in this instant you play as criminal Tommy Versetti. Next up in 2004, Doom 3, released by ID Software. Doom 3 is set on Mars in 2145, where a military industrial conglomerate has set up a scientific research facility into fields such as teleportation, biological research, and advanced weapons design. The teleportation experiments open a gateway to hell, resulting in a catastrophic invasion of the Mars base by demons. Next up in 2005, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, released by Rockstar. The game is set within an open-world environment that players can explore and interact with at their leisure. The story follows Carl C.J. Johnson, who returns home following his mother's murder and is drawn back into his former gang and a life of crime while clashing with corrupt authorities and powerful criminals. Next up in 2006, The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, released by Bethesda Game Studios. Taking place within the fictional province of Cyrodiil, the game's main story focuses on the player character's efforts to thwart a fanatical cult known as the Mythic Dawn that plans to open portal gates to a demonic realm known as Oblivion. 
Next up in 2007, Gears of War, released by Epic Games. The game follows protagonist Marcus Phoenix, a soldier in the coalition of ordered governments tasked to lead a last-ditch effort to destroy the Locust Horde, a race of genetically altered humans that established their civilization in the subterranean regions of Sera, known as the Hollow, Phoenix and his coalition must destroy them to save the world. Next up in 2008, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, released by Infinity Ward. The campaign story takes place in the year of 2011, where a radical leader has executed the president of an unnamed country in the Middle East, and an ultranationalist movement ignites a civil war in Russia, the game also provides a multiplayer game mode with a variety of maps. Next up in 2009, Fallout 3, released by Bethesda. Fallout 3 is an action role-playing game set in the barren wasteland of a post-apocalyptic society. Players assume the role of a resident of an underground complex who emerges from a vault to explore a wasteland universe through a series of quests missions. Next up in 2010, Mass Effect 2, released by Bioware. After being revived from death and having to join a pro-human organization without a choice, Commander Shepard must assemble a team, battle a new threat, and make tough choices in order to save the galaxy from total annihilation once more. Next up in 2011, Portal 2, released by Valve. With a desire to flee the crumbling facility, Wheatley and Chell begin their quest to escape Aperture Science to return to the real world. After separating from Wheatley and completing a series of tests revisited from Portal, Shell reunites with Wheatley and head to what they believe will be escape. Next up in 2012, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, released by Bethesda. The game is set 200 years after the events of Oblivion and takes place in Skyrim, the northernmost province of Tamriel. Its main story focuses on the player's character, the Dragonborn, on their quest to defeat Alduin the World Eater, a dragon who is prophesied to destroy the world. Next up in 2013, Grand Theft 2014, Dark Souls 2, released by From Software. The story of Dark Souls I begins with a human who has become undead, cursed to never die and doomed to eventually become a hollow, a zombie-like being with no memories or purpose. The undead warrior must fight his way through the desolate remains of Lordran, once a sprawling utopia led by the gods, to seek his purpose and fulfill a centuries-old prophecy. Next up, in 2015, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, released by CD Projekt Red. The story focuses on Geralt of Rivia and Sarai who are linked by destiny. Kairi, princess of a recently conquered country, and a pawn of international politics, becomes a witcher. In training, Geralt is drawn into a whirlwind of events in his attempts to protect her before the Wild Hunt can capture her and bring about the destruction of the world. Next up in 2016, Dark Souls 3 released by From Software. Dark Souls 3 takes place in a transitory place revolving around the first flame and the cycle of fire and dark. You play as a protagonist whose goal is to find and return the five lords of Cinder to their thrones at Firelink Shrine in order to link the flame again. Next up in 2017, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, released by Nintendo. After a 100-year slumber, Link wakes up alone in a world he no longer remembers. Now, the legendary hero must explore a vast and dangerous land and regain his memories before Hyrule is lost forever. Armed only with what he can scavenge, Link sets out to find answers and the resources needed to survive. Next up, in 2018, Fortnite Battle Royale, released by Epic Games. Fortnite is a survival game where 100 players fight against each other in player versus player combat to be the last one standing. It is a fast-paced, action-packed game, not unlike The Hunger Games where strategic thinking is a must in order to survive. There are an estimated 125 million players on Fortnite. Next up in 2019, Resident Evil 2, released by Capcom. The player controls rookie cop Leon S. Kennedy and college student Claire Redfield, 
who must escape Raccoon City after its citizens are transformed into zombies by a biological weapon two months after the events of the original Resident Evil. Next up in 2020, The Last of Us Part Two, released by Naughty Dog. Set five years after The Last of Us, the game focuses on two playable characters in a post-apocalyptic United States whose lives intertwine, Ellie, who sets out in revenge for a murder, and Abby, a soldier who becomes involved in a conflict between her militia and a religious cult. Next up in 2021, Resident Evil Village, released by Capcom. Ethan Winter's wife and daughter are kidnapped and brought to a village deep within the snowy mountains of Europe. There, he must fight against various monsters such as vampires, lichens, wolves, witches, fishmen, dolls, zombies, industrial abominations in order to save his family from the evil mother Miranda. And finally, in 2022, Elden Ring, released by From Software. The basics of the Elden Ring story are that the lands between were blessed by the greater will, a type of unknowable god obsessed with order over chaos, who sent down the Elden Ring, a magical object that changed the lands between according to its whims. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave in the comments what type of videos you want to see next.